Kansas heads to Kansas State. And the Wildcats are a 12-point favorite. The total sits at 62.5. It's 8 p.m. Eastern time. And this is the Fox game. That's how good Kansas has been this year. Like, Fox is willing to put them in a prime window. And Kansas State, they got to win this game to head over to, of course, the Big 12 title game next week. They have to win this week. Number is 12 on it. Over the past five weeks, I've got Kansas State by 11.75. Yeah, right there on the number. Here's... Here's the issue. When Kansas State, I just assumed that they were going to be really good at running the ball. They have not been over the past five weeks. Kansas State is number 101 in PPA per rush, uh, number 68 in rushing success rate, number 110 in rushing explosiveness, which how is that possible if you've got Deuce Vaughn? That makes no sense. Uh, They're number 102 in offensive line yards, number 124 in stuff rate uh, allowed. And yet, and yet, you look at Kansas' defense, number 110 in PPA per rush allowed, number 112 in rushing success rate allowed, number 125 in offensive line yards allowed, and number 116 in stuff rate allowed, or stuff rate uh, with their defense. And so Kansas State, like, doesn't have to worry about Kansas' defense. Like, that's... <laughs> <laughs> it's a massive difference between playing Texas and Baylor and, and whatever else, right? Like, this is a, a huge step down in class as far as the defense is concerned. Now, you look over at the offense, and that number right there will tell you. Uh, Kansas, number 14 in offensive PPA per drive. They are number one of four in defensive PPA per drive. And no, nobody ever accused their defense of being any good. But Lance Leipold and Bunch can absolutely scheme with the best of them. You look at their offense, it doesn't really matter who's playing quarterback. Number 10 PPA per pass. Number 10 in passing success rate on offense. I mean, they are, they are good. Passing down. PPA, number six. They are number 45 in standard down PPA. They're number eight in rushing explosiveness. Like this, this Kansas State defense is okay. But they're number 64 in PPA per drive. So I think that Kansas can find a way to stay ahead of the chains. This one could get a little pointsy. Uh, the total here is set at 62 and a half. Yeah, there's a way. Like, neither one of these teams turns the ball over. Like, uh, number 13 in turnover margin for Kansas, number 4 for Kansas State. I think both of these teams will be able to score, but I trust Kansas State to be able to score more because I think that Kansas uh, sometimes can shoot themselves in the foot just a little bit. So I I will take Kansas State minus the 12. The motivation is certainly more on their side. I, I say that. You know, Kansas, they haven't beaten Kansas State in a while. They might really, really want this. But Kansas State is vying for a Big 12 title game. I think they're going to be fired up in Manhattan. Uh, yeah, if this was in Lawrence, maybe I'd feel a little bit differently. But, uh, but yeah, give me Kansas State. Cover the 12 here. Thanks for listening to Winning Cures Everything. Make sure and subscribe on YouTube or your favorite podcast app. And make sure to leave a nice five-star review. You can follow Gary on Twitter, at GaryWCE. And the show is at Winning Cures. Be sure to check out the merch in our web store and share the show.